on this high-stakes cat-and-mouse pursuit. Standing by, ABC's Chief White House Correspondent Jonathan Carl and ABC Senior Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas, who has been reporting on the damage Snowden has already done. So let's start with you, Pierre. Diane, we're learning the situation could not be more senior. Serious. A senior intelligence official told us today he's already seeing indications that terrorist groups are changing the way they communicate because of Snowden's leaks. Today, Secretary of State John Kerry was blunt. He said people may die because of these leaks. And Diane, there's real worry about how much damage Snowden can still do. He has access to the U.S. playbook for how we use technology in covert surveillance, at risk the effectiveness of billions of dollars worth of supercomputers and spying resources. Diane, think of Snowden as that person in your office that troubleshoots when your computer network breaks down. That's who Snowden was for the U.S. government. He had access to everything. That's why top officials are so worried. So it's not just the paper trail, it's the technology as well. He has that playbook. Okay, thank you, Pierre. Let's go now to ABC's Chief White House Correspondent, Jonathan Carl, on what the president is doing tonight. John. Well, Diane, Diane, what we're seeing here at the White House is the White House is accusing China of a breach of trust. We heard from Jay Carney, the press secretary today, using the kind of language we almost never hear them use around here to describe U.S.-Chinese relations, basically accusing China of lying about why Snowden was allowed to leave Hong Kong. We are just not buying that this was a technical decision by a Hong Kong immigration official. This was a deliberate choice by the government to release a fugitive despite a valid arrest warrant, and that decision unquestionably has a negative impact on the U.S.-China relationship. And there is a message here to Russia as well. Top U.S. officials, including FBI Director Robert Mueller, have been in touch with Russian officials several times today, urging them to turn Snowden over. Here, over. The message is clearly a, it's a simple one. He is a fugitive wanted for a felony. If Russia does not turn him over, that will do damage to U.S.-Russian relations as well. Diane. All right. Thank you, John. Team coverage of those top secret leaks tonight.